Hello, 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 hello everyone and a welcome in our subject ED6 or the teaching social studies in the intermediate grades. I know that you are, you are done watching the videos that I uploaded in our Facebook group. Those videos are the teaching approaches, we also have how to assess our students learning and the third one is we have the how to make instructional materials and now of course this will serve as an instructional video on what are the things that you will do in our subject most especially in our teaching demonstration so here are the things that you will do in our subject so we have these topics I already sent to you, your group mates. So for group 1, you give focus on culture, your topic is culture. 2, cultural relativism and diversity. Number 3, oral and local history. And number 4, history of Muslim in the Philippines. So therefore, sir, ano yung tawag sa nakabulit? So those nakabulit, those are the things that should be included in your discussion. And of course, for group 5, we have tangible and intangible cultural heritage in the Philippines. And number 6, cultural sites in the Philippines. Number 7, natural sites in the Philippines. Number 8, cultural performances and indigenous practices. And also for group number 9, Philippine culture, for visual arts, dance, literature, theater, and music. We also have number 10, Philippine cultural values, traits, and patterns. And group 11, your topic is about the branches of geography. We have two, physical geography and human geography. Number 12, your topic is five themes of geography. And 13, your topic is Philippine geography. So sir, what shall we do next? Number one, watch the videos on lesson planning. Follow the format of the EED5. So later, I'll be uploading a video on lesson planning. So please do watch. So just follow the common parts of the lesson plan. We have five. And also, the format that you need to follow will be the EED5 because it is the same with the format that I'll be using here in our subject, ED6. And number two, coordinate with your group mates, create your own group chat, and name it. Yes, you need to create your own group chat in your group. So, of course, the group name should be ED6-group1. Okay? And also, you may add me into your group. For of course consultation and number three make an objectives and hand out based on your assigned topic always remember that you need to watch the video on lesson planning because I already included there on how to make your objectives in your lesson plan and after that you need to create your lesson plan so therefore you need to what Submit to me first your or the draft of your what do we call this one? Lesson objectives. So in your group or in our group, you'll be posting your objectives. Then correction and nako before you could proceed to making your handout and then lesson plan. Again, it checks na ko ang objectives once nga okay ng objectives. Dira na mo pwede makabuhat og handout as well as lesson plan. And also. For after you are done with your objectives and also na check na na kong handouts and lesson plan is okay na siya, na check na po na ko, ano yung susunod yung gagawin? You will create a PowerPoint presentation and demonstration video of your assigned topic. And always remember that all of the members of the group must be present in the video makita na ko and also Every time mo appear ang isa kay you need to, of course, write the name. 
And number five, of course, you need to be creative in making your video. Later on, I'll be sending you some samples on how to conduct your pre-recorded demonstration. So you could make use of Kine or KineMaster. We also have Vivo Video and you may also use X Recorder. So make the video short. No need to, of course, taas ka yung video. It should only be 5 to 30 minutes and all must be done online or virtually. Wala dapat magklase sa classroom as well as wala dapat moy estudyante. Or if you need students, you may use your other members of the group. And of course, the submission. So these are the last date. Ha? Last date, it means nga di na kumu kuan or nani some sort of deduction if you will submit beyond these dates. So, final detailed lesson plan, April 30. So, dapat before April 30, nagapacheck yun mo always og lesson plan sa ako. Ah. Because April 30, that is the last day that I will check your lesson plan. So, kung napay mga mali inyong lesson plan, you are not allowed na to resubmit it. That is why, before palang April 30, pacheck na yun mo sa ako ah, lesson plan. And also, the video or demonstration video, the PowerPoint presentation as well as the handout, will be submitted or the last day nga isubmit na siya is May 14. Okay? So, you know what? The ko kaayo o gikomprise nga points ning demonstration video ninyo. That is why the earlier you submit, the better. Okay? Again, the earlier you submit, the better. Ayaw na ninyo ni apasa ning due date. And of course, so here is the format of our handout so paper size should be letter or short orientation should be portrait so font size heading or title should be 14 pwede nyo siya bold and the body should be 12 and font style follow this one century school book and of course margin is normal lang 1 inches top bottom left and right and of course for your powerpoint presentation Make sure that it is nice, presentable, as well as creative. So follow the seven-seven rule, and always make uh, and make sure that it is creative because we elementary or you will be soon an elementary teacher. Therefore, you need to know how to hook the interest of your students, and part of it is being creative with your PowerPoint presentation. And for your PowerPoint presentation, your PPT must have animation, transition, and hyperlink. So, of course, we need to make use of technology. And now, for your demonstration video, so it should be 5 to 30 minutes. Of course, Grabby, you cannot do it within 5 minutes. So, it is between 5 to 30 minutes and also make use of editing apps. I already mentioned those. And you need to make sure that you have a clear audio because that is, uh, what do we call this one, has an effect in your demonstration. As well as all members must be present. And of course, these are the things that you need to remember. Number one, you may submit your work via Google Drive if you want to submit it online. But you know what? There are some instances here in our province that we tend to have this difficulty in sending online, most especially videos, because you know what? It will really took at least eight hours for you to be able to submit your video. That is why you, you will also have another option. That is, of course, to submit it via flash drive. So, nakalagay na dun yung handout nyo, yung PowerPoint nyo, yung lesson plan nyo, as well as yung demonstration video ninyo. And of course, follow the file name. So, group 1, PPT, group 1, demonstration teaching, group 2, handouts, and na-appeal pa the idea, group 1, LP. So, these are the steps. Kung saan yun din So, number one, okay, you need to make your objectives. Pag na-check na kung objectives, you may now create your lesson plan. And aside from lesson plan, you need to also create your handouts 
and of course after receiving an approval with your lesson plan dira ana mo makabuhat og demonstration video so any question if you have question just comment below and of course if you like this video don't forget to subscribe on my channel for more videos as well as leave a thumbs up okay so i bet that you have questions in mind so ayaw mo kaulaw pangutan mo sa ako ah di ko mamaak okay so thank you so much for listening i am mark jenna martinez your poking instructor a peace